Hey guys, how's it going? Tua Cruz here checking in with... Goodness. We're here with Tua and Sean here and we're going to be going for a night sakura walk. Yeah, yeah. So it's Hanami season here in Japan and that means all the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. So check this out. This is our local station here in Japan. This is Fujigaoka Station in Nagoya, Japan. And we've got some sakura and we're going to walk around and show you guys. And also in today's video, we're going to finish with some delicious snacks. So, Tunchan came here by bicycle. Eh, jitenshi no naka ni nani ga haitteru ka na? So today's walk is sponsored by Boksu, and we're going to talk about them more later in today's video. But this box is full of some delicious Japanese snacks, which as you can see are cherry blossom themed. Okay, so first we're going to put this box away. We're going to eat those snacks later, and we're going to go ahead and get started with our walk. Let's go. Let's go. And here we are. This is our local Starbucks and sort of little mini shopping mall area. We've got a little grocery store in here. But that's not the theme for today. We want to start with some of the cherry blossoms. So let's start over this way. This is our local station, Fujigaoka Station. This is the most east point of Nagoya, which is the city that we live in. And and this area is really beautiful. We've got the, this is actually a subway, but you can see it's above ground here. It goes underground just a little bit over that way. And right under here, there's actually a little ramen shop. Really cool. We'll walk more over this way a little bit later, but there's no sakura over there. So we're gonna start this way first. And you can see this whole street is covered with cherry blossoms. We just filmed a cycling video here during the day, but some people said they wanted to see what it looks like at night. So that's what we're doing tonight. And this street is also really busy and nicely illuminated so we can see the cherry blossoms and unfortunately we're actually nearing the end of the cherry blossom season right now you can see these are all just here on the ground and i got some questions also asking what happens to these do people clean them up or does it just become garbage and you can see it just sort of piles up here and eventually some local people may clean it up but otherwise it'll be there for a while until it's all washed away and you can see after the cherry blossoms start to fall. Actually, the rest of the tree starts to turn green. So this is what it looks like at the end of cherry blossom season. And fortunately, we still got a lot of pink around here, but in another day or two, it's gonna be really green. So we gotta get this video out now while we can. Oh wow, there's actually a lot more green here than I was expecting. This is a cool little shop here. Some noodle shop, Ichiban Ken. Lots of cool little bars here, little izakayas, ramen shops here. We got a nice close-up of the cherry blossoms and it's really windy right now. The cool thing about the windy days here in the cherry blossom season is you can see the cherry blossoms just blowing in the, in the wind, in the air like that. So we'll see some nice views today, I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we're really excited about this box arriving. This is actually a monthly subscription service that we're subscribed to right now. And so every month we get a whole box full of delicious Japanese snacks. So we'll be opening that up later, but we saved our appetite for tonight. We knew that box arrived and we were excited to eat some of the snacks. So we're really hungry right now. Oh yeah, this area is really beautiful. So yeah, these, this whole street, this whole area is just covered in cherry blossoms. Let's actually get into the street really quick so we can show just how this looks. Unfortunately, there aren't any more lights, but this is about all we can see right now. And I got to get out of the street before I get run over. We do have some international brands here as well. This is an Anytime Fitness. We work out in our, in our home gym. We've got a home gym in our living room where we do our indoor cycling. But yeah, I'm really excited to film with this camera today. We filmed a night video here before, but I think it was with the GoPro. This is with the iPhone, which has some really good focus and also some really good settings for the night view. So I think we should get some more clear pictures of the cherry blossoms tonight. Yeah. Just look at this wall, the sea of pink above us. Classic view. Q. 
綺麗だね。ミトゥ Oh, this is an interesting little shop. This is Seoul Tae, kind of Seoul Station. So, a little、yeah. Korean food. Haven't been there. And the other cool thing about this section is this is a scramble style crosswalk. So, there's, of course, the famous Shibuya scramble crossing. But this one, this scramble crossing is all over Japan. So, even small scale like this, they're really safe. A lot safer for pedestrians, I think. <laughs> And we're still just looping around the station area here. So, we live in a really fortunate area, which is kind of the edge of the city. So, we get the benefits of living in the city. We're connected by subway, but we're also really close to the, the countryside, so, which is really good for cycling. But even though this is a pretty busy city area, we've got all this beautiful nature. That's one of the really good things about Japan. I think they're going to be having a cherry blossom festival here pretty soon called the Sakura Matsuri. Sakura is cherry blossom and Matsuri means festival. This is the main station drive through area here. So, this is where you can get dropped off from the taxi or someone dropping you off at the station by car. So, there's some interesting shops along this way. We're gonna head this way. I think this is, yeah, this is a lottery corner. <laughs> We've got a lottery corner. This is our local takoyaki octopus kind of food shop. And we've got all the decorations out right now. So, check this out. We got the pink lanterns. It says Sakura Matsuri. So, the Sakura Cherry Blossom Festival. And. We've also got some more lanterns up here right now as well. Really beautiful. I love this festive mood that you get with these decorations. And it wouldn't be Japan without. They actually call this 31, so we call it Baskin Robbins in the US. But if you say Baskin Robbins to a Japanese person, they won't recognize the name. They'll only recognize it if you call it by the number 31. Oh, this is a good smell in here. We've got Mr. Donuts. Let's check out some of the seasonal flavors they've got right now. These look really good. I don't actually come to Mr. Donuts very often, but Japan really does their seasonal flavors really well. These look really good. These ones, especially. Oh, I might have to get some of these, but we've got some other delicious snacks waiting for us today. Oh, she's so nice. And yeah, even these signs are all in pink right now. But check this out all the petal leaves falling on the ground right now, just scattered around. The sea of pink on the ground. This is what happens after cherry blossom season here. And it's especially bad once we get a big rainstorm in the spring, it just knocks all of them down on the ground. But they are taking some measures、um, to avoid people crowding. Normally, these areas are really crowded this time of year with people just sitting around, eating, drinking. They're really trying to prevent that from happening right now with getting too many people gathering really close、uh, to not spread cases because they're still really behind with the vaccine rollout here, at least compared to like other countries. But fortunately, the case numbers are down because they're doing measures like this. And oh, we're getting some new restaurants here. What's this? This is Delica Kitchen. Yeah, I'm seeing a couple new shops here. Oh, here's t u a n c h a n s favorite restaurant. <laughs> oh! Yeah, just check this out. Literally all over the entire pathway here. 
I think this is going to be the last beautiful night we get. Next, tomorrow, a lot of this is going to be on the ground even more. <laughs> <laughs> Genki da ne. Yes. So yeah, we filmed a lot of videos in this area, so some of you who are fans of the channel probably recognize this area, but it's always so different each time of the year. And you always see something new that I can show you guys. So check out this family bike. This is, it's got the shelter for the kid up front, the kid in the back, and then the mom rides in the center and also carries groceries and does everything. What's this? This is a new crepe restaurant here. This used to be a bubble tea shop. Bubble tea was trending really hard the last year in Japan, but I think that trend is over. And so they brought the, the crepe four. shop now. Number four. Hmm? Number four. Number four? Yes. You want the number four? Yes. Yes. Uh, banana, banana. Okay, say it in English. tunchan has been practicing our English lately, so let's see. Strawberry, strawberry, banana, grape. I love strawberry. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to continue a loop it down this way, finish up, show you that back alley, and then we're going to open up our snacks, our delicious snacks that we're waiting for. Actually, Tunchan just mentioned that there is some more nice sakura blooming over on this street as well, so we're going to head over this way and then loop over. And here we can show you one of our other favorite shops, Kokuichi. They've got a Conan advertisement right now. This is a small little station restaurant so sometimes in the more open areas they'll have some more open seating but in the smaller more like prime real estate locations it'll be more expensive so they have the smaller seating tables yeah this night scenery doesn't get old here just beautiful hmm. here we go green light this is the sign for pedestrian path, meaning it's okay to also ride your bike here. So even though this path is really narrow, you can ride a bike here technically, but you have to ride really slow and give priority to pedestrians. Yes, check this out. We've also got some more restaurants over here. Yeah, some of these are changing since the last time I came here. Got a red post office box. And unfortunately, not as many lights over this way, so we can't see as much, but. We'll try and make our way over from here, see if we can loop over to that back alley road. Luckily, this is still coming up pretty nice on this camera. This is Tunchan's iPhone that she's using on her walking channel. We got her new gimbal. So she's been out walking every day, filming her walking videos. <laughs> so she's a really professional walker right now. Koko Migi Niko. And here we go. Oh man, nothing over here, just some apartments. <laughs> No trees. All the sakura are gone. Actually, there's a few down the road just a little bit. Oh, cool. There's actually a park here. I never, I never actually came this way. So this is a nice surprise. I had no idea this was here. But yeah, there's tiny little parks like this all over in Japan. Let's check it out because we've also got a lit up sakura tree. Perfect. Yeah, they don't want you to park your bicycles here. They want you to park them in the designated parking areas so it doesn't crowd up or get dirty here. Mm, nice wind. Makes this look even better. And I think Tunchan was over here playing on the swing. This is a really wide open park. 
I had no idea this was here. This might be a good place to eat some of our snacks, so actually, it's also a good place to practice BMX, apparently. Tanosone. Okashi taberu? Okay, so we walked enough now. It's snack time now. And today's video is actually sponsored by Boksu. Boksu is a monthly Japanese snack delivery service from Japan. And every month you get a custom box like this filled with a whole bunch of different premium Japanese snacks from all over Japan. So today's themed box is actually a sakura themed box, a cherry blossom themed box and every month is actually different. This is actually the introduction box. So on your first box, you'll get the Seasons of Japan box, and it comes with this really nice display of different information about all the different snacks, some other cultural information about Japan. And this particular box has some different items from all the different seasons, so Japanese spring, summer, and it talks about the different snacks and why they're unique to that season. So right now we're in the spring season. We're going to start with some of the spring snacks, but you can see there's a bunch of different snacks in this box from different seasons. And the other cool thing about this is it shows you exactly where each snack came from, which part of Japan, and they actually partner with some different historic distributors here in Japan that have been operating for over 100 years. So it's really cool. They work with a lot of different local vendors and overall really good quality. You get a premium sense when you open the box and just check this out. We've got all these different snacks to choose from. All right, so we took out a few of the items from the box. And as you can see, there's quite a few items in here. You're not gonna get through all this in just one sitting. So if you're interested in getting a box for yourself, you can use our link and code down below to get 10% off of your order. So if you only wanna get the box just one time, you can start with the Seasons of Japan box and you can get this box with all these different contents. But if you continue your subscription, you can get a new box every month with different items. Anyway, it's time for us to start eating. Dochi kara taberu? <laughs> so this is kind of a plum flavored chips. Let's check this one out. Okay, so let's try some of these chips. Chun's gonna be the, the taste tester today. I'll be the cameraman. <laughs> uh, I think Chun really likes the ume flavor or the plum flavor. Mm. So actually this flavor is really popular in Japan, so especially popular in spring, but it's popular all year round and Tung really loves these chips, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. What else do you want to try? Oh, I really like this one. This is the taiyaki shaped fish. Actually, we, we filmed another video eating all the snacks in the box. So if you want to check out all these snacks, you can watch our full eating video. We'll introduce each of the snacks in detail in that one. You can check it out. But tonight we're not going to film us eating everything. Uh, we're going to focus mostly on the walk for today's video. But I am really excited to eat all these snacks again. And especially these mochi are really cute. These are the spring mochi. Let's try these. Yeah. Yeah. So mochi is kind of like a sweet rice cake. These are made from rice. And of course they add some extra sugar. There's a whole bunch of different fillings they can have in them. Uh, these ones don't have any fillings. These ones are flavors. So this one's a cherry blossom flavor. Matcha. Matcha? Yeah. I think. Uh, you think? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matcha no. No? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can't pin down the actual flavor. Let's try the white one next. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh man. Tung's usually really good at figuring out the food taste, but for some reason she can't recall the, or she can't correctly place the, the flavor for the green one. All right, and it's my turn to eat the remaining mochi. So I get the pink one to match my pink tie. I just came here from work actually, so I'm in my work clothes. I'm in my, my sakura suit. Yeah, pink man. Pink man. Yeah. <laughs> so let's give this a try. Mm. What is that? Sakura. Sakura? Mm. Sakura flavor. Mm. Mm. Also, you may notice that I'm missing quite a bit of my hair right now. And the reason for that is because Tung gave me a haircut the other day. So let us know what you think of my new haircut down below. Ah, she got it. <laughs> okay, so it was melon flavor. That makes sense. Mm. Um, but anyway, thumbs up for Tung Chan for a nice job with my haircut. Hopefully she did a good job. How do I look, guys? 
All right, guys, we're going to continue on with our little picnic here at the park, but we're going to finish this video here. We hope you guys enjoyed tonight's walk video. And if you want to see more walking videos in Japan, be sure to check out Toonchan's channel, Japan Walk TV. Yeah. She's uploading daily videos of walking here in Japan, so lots of Sakura videos. Yeah. And if you want to see more videos of us eating, <laughs> I'll leave a link down below to our eating playlist as well. And we also have a video where we eat all the snacks in this box. And we'll be reviewing a new box coming up here soon with our new box with some new snacks. So again, a special thank you to our sponsor today, Boksu. Check out the link down below to get 10% off of your order. And you can try some of these awesome Japanese snacks. So thanks again. And we'll see you next time here on Tuo a Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What? Hmm? <laughs> your mom is at the side. <laughs>